Oh, in the meantime, there is a new grassroots effort involving parents and teachers to support Tulsa Public Schools. They're also holding a rally this afternoon that gets underway at 530 just ahead of the TPS board meeting that starts at 6. 10 News anchor Erin Christie is live at the Education Service Center with more of the um, what all of this Protect TPS is about. Erin? Karen, parents and teachers are growing increasingly concerned that Ryan Walters will make efforts to shut down or annex Tulsa Public Schools. And while a complete yanking of accreditation seems drastic or far-fetched, it's something that happened very similar in Houston this year. And that's why parents and teachers are afraid that Ryan Walters might try and do the same. Despite Tulsa Public Schools meeting state accreditation guidelines with two minor deficiencies that wouldn't impact operations, the State Board of Education voted to table the approval, while State Superintendent Ryan Walters vowed to investigate the district for unspecified allegations. This is what we call an education being set up for failure. Seventh grade teacher Ana Barros is co-launching a grassroots effort called Protect TPS. She says teachers fear for their jobs and worries about students just now feeling back to normal after the pandemic. All of a sudden having to reinvent everything that you're doing and then coming back and reinventing again. And now we're back in schools and we're reinventing again. And we saw the way that that type of instability affects students, affects parents, affects teachers. Parent Ashley Daly wants the state board to follow recommendations from the accreditation office. As an American want to believe that uh, our leaders follow the rules set forth and that, um, that that's how the world should work. Parent Evan Taylor is concerned about Walter's power to take the superintendent's job. He would be able to appoint a person to take over that role. Uh, and that scares me. The housing market, job market, I mean, this is gonna affect everyone. And so I really hope Tulsa's, Tulsans really speak up and let their voice be heard to get this out that we don't want this in Tulsa. TPS board member John Croissant reiterates the district meets accreditation guidelines and that Superintendent Giss contract is based on student performance. It's evaluated monthly and above the projected growth for the year. If we've got top down from the state telling us how to run things, it's not going to be the way Tulsans want TPS to be run. Change.org petition just launched last night has over a thousand signatures in support of TPS. For more information on the petition or this group that's rallying here in about 25 minutes, that's all at kjrh.com. Reporting live in Midtown, Aaron Christie, 2 News, Oklahoma.